In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to use DragonFrame's built-in axis calibration tool. Each axis in motion control should be calibrated so that the values you see on the screen are accurate to the real value of movement. So for instance, this track axis I have set up here has not been calibrated, and so the numbers are just the pure count of steps. It's not very useful as you're trying to plan out shots. Let's look at track's configuration screen and you see that there's this button that says calibrate under motor. Okay, so that's what we're going to be using is this tool. The first thing we need to do is to have something to measure against. So in this case, we'll go to our track and set up a known measurement. So we're going to use 18 inches because I have a ruler that's exactly 18 inches. The more increments you have, the more accurate your calibration is going to be. So 18 should be pretty good. I'm going to mark a beginning and an end. And I know this is 18 inches. And so now what we need to do is see how many steps it is and then divide that by 18. And DragonFrame is going to do that for you with the calibration tool. So let's go back to the screen and hit the calibration. And we're going to reset zero. We'll simply drive using these controls to our 18 inch mark. Okay, I'm going to just fine tune it here a little bit. Get as close as I can to the mark. Okay, that looks really good. So now we know that 18 inches is this amount of steps. And so we simply write in here 18 and we make sure to let it know how we're measuring. So we're going to say inches. And you shouldn't have uh, different parts of your setup be working in metric and standard. So if it's you're going to go metric, it's all metric. And if it's going to be standard, all standard. So I use inches for everything. So 18 inches. And I say, OK. And that sets up the correct amount of steps per inch. So now we've calibrated the axis. And that's how it works.